now you've seen how I'm going to look. This is how I look right now. I like to start off with my eyebrows, make my way to the eyes, then I do my base. And I do concealer and highlight, and then I do my lipstick last. Now we will be doing another video in the future, which might be the next video. It might not. Who knows? And basically it's going to be the reverse challenge. So I'll be doing my lipstick, my highlighter, my concealer, my base, then my eyes, and then my eyebrows. So it's going to flip and it's going to be a whole cool thing. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, so yeah. But today we're just going to show you a bit of a makeup, you know. I'm not too sure if I'm going to make this a tutorial yet. Depends on how good it is. So if you're watching this and it's just a tutorial, then that means it was good. If you're watching it and it's just kind of a get ready with me, obviously means it's not good. So you should know by now. I don't. So yeah, let's just get into that. So first I'm going to prime my lids and my eyebrows because my eyebrow area does get pretty dry. Now I'm using the e.l.f. Lit from Within 95021, this thing. It's a drugstore product, I'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere though. Did you get about that much? Dab right there, dab right there, dab right there. And kind of spread it all around. This will really get a light, easy base for your eyebrow application as well as your eyeshadow application and everything that goes, you know, on top of it and what. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am stepping it up on the YouTube game. Like, ever since I got this tripod, I've been really motivated and, you know, doing a lot of videos. I'm really proud of myself, to be honest. Next, we are going to take this NYX Duo in the shade or Browser Brush on Brow Kit 876 Brunette. It has a wax kind of thing, and then it has the brown pigment. Oops. Also, I got this at Dollar Tree. I really recommend that you go to Dollar Tree because I needed this in my life, but I couldn't find one that was cheap, which was really annoying. And I found one at the Dollar Tree. I was like, oh, yes, honey, I need to get this. Like, mm. it's a good deal, you know, a dollar for a whole holder. And it comes with three separate pockets for it. It's a really good product, I think, in my opinion. So first, we're going to go into the wax. And you're going to get the wax all on. And then you're going to go in with the kind of powder thingy. And it's going to create a pomade. At least that's what I think it is called. I don't know if this is actually what you're supposed to do, but I figure that this is the best way to apply it because when you're just using the powder, it's very hard to apply it on. And, you know, the wax kind of like, kind of sets your brows to stay in one spot, which is good, of course, but using both of them does both of those things. It makes for a pomade and then it sets them its place so they don't move I really don't know why but I'm like out of breath maybe it's because I'm talking too fast but like it's not a good thing like all of a sudden I was just breathing really hard and it's like it's like disgusting and I don't want that on camera and um so not loving that uno bit yeah um i don't know why i can never get my brows the same that's that's fun love that for me next i'm going to take this kind of brush it's a bit wonky but this is how it looks and i'm going to take my bit me foundation by maybelline new york dewy and smooth 115 ivory and I use this as my concealer. And I use this as my concealer because I find it better than any concealer that I've used before. Which is why I use it. And I just go on and I kind of do both of the lids around the eyebrows. And I'm going to fix up that. Oh, didn't I realize I was out of focus? <laughs> I don't know how long I was out of focus. I'm very sorry. But yeah. I kind of bring it down. Then if I have any extra product, 
I swoop my eyebrows. I say swoop because it's like swoop, you know? And same with this side. I can get any of the excess powders or anything. Not powders, liquids. <laughs> I obviously don't know English. <laughs> mm. You know, I'm not too happy with my brow. Don't know why or how they don't look the same. Or what. But that's a little better actually. Alright, that's just gonna have to do. To be honest. Alright, next we're going to take the Elf Perfect HD Finish H What? Elf Perfect Finish HD powder and we're just gonna pat that on. We're gonna take another elf product and um, this is the ultimate blending brush. And I kinda just tap 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 and I just tap 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 You know, really just tap it on for a real one, you know? Also, does is anyone going to buy the James Charles palette? And if you've already bought in it or gotten it through PR or something, I don't know if anyone would actually even watch my video and know. James Charles or something like that. But if you have it or if you're going to get it, you should let me know because I want to get it. And I'm going to have the money to get it, hopefully. But I don't know because apparently it's having some scandals saying that it was fake swatches. But then he proved it, so I really don't know, you know, the tea on that. But I don't want to get a product that's, you know, not truthful. Especially by such a big YouTuber. You know, that would be really upsetting. Mm -mm. Don't want that. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to take my NYX Ultimate Professional Makeup Palette. If you don't have this palette, you should get it. It is the best freaking palette in the entire world. Well, I mean, I don't have a lot of palettes. So this is the best one I have. I don't have a lot of money either. So, this may not be the best palette. This may be the worst to some makeup artists. But this right here, my favorite. So we're going to take that yellow right in the corner. And we're going to be taking an e.l.f. C brush. And we're just going to pack it on right about there. I really like this brush because it packs on a lot compared to my other brushes like crease brush or my blending brush you know they don't get on and work as much as I'd like them to but this one you know it really gets the job done so love that and we're also going to try and put it in the inner corners like so be gentle not to get it in your eyes because I've done that many times and it hurts. Next, we're gonna take that lavender color. And if you don't know what lavender, I'm talking about this one. We're gonna take that color and we're gonna pack it on pretty good on our brush. See, pretty good. And we're gonna put it right there. That is not showing up on camera, but it's showing up in real life. I don't know why. Like. I'm confused. I'm just gonna keep packing it on. Now you can kind of see it. And it's okay if you get it on the top because we are going to be overlaying it and we're actually going to be putting the lavender on the top as well. So it doesn't really matter if you kind of just spread it up there. But you want to make sure you just really get it on in that section. By the way, I don't think this is going to be an edited, you know, the type of video. I mean, it's going to be edited, but there's not going to be a lot of edits. Like, as you can see, I'm just kind of straightforward talking. Haven't really, you know, I haven't cut it off yet, so I don't plan on doing that. I might, if I mess up or something, or if I have to stop it real quick, whatever the case may be. But I'm probably not going to stop it. Next, we are going to take my crease brush 
Now we're going to go in with that dark purple shade. We're going to get a good amount of product on there. A good amount. And we're just going to kind of go and deepen in our crease. Now we're going to take that next shade right next to it. And we're going to do the same thing. And we're just going to kind of deepen the crease. Now beware that the yellow will probably fade off unless you're using a really tiny brush. So you might have to redo the yellow, but it is a okay, my dudes. And you kind of want to blend that color outwards or upwards if you want to be accurate <laughs> i wasn't giving you accurate information i'm very sorry you're going to take another crease brush you can use the same one or i mean c brush i'm very sorry you can use the same one you have before just make sure it doesn't have purple or any other color on it and then it has yellow and we're just going to reapply And reapply. That looks nice. Like in that. Now it looks a lot better, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Looking cute, very cute. Not gonna lie. Alright, next we are going to take a blendy, 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 blendy brush. Now we're gonna add some blue into the mixture. This will really deepen that color. And you're also going to add some red. And I meant that blue and then that red. Just, you know, sorry you didn't say. To really get a nice purpley, you know, color. With like a bit of a red-ish tint. It would be really pretty. I really like it so yeah and then you're gonna cut it off eventually to be more of a straight line you don't want it to be the way it is currently I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye if you couldn't have already told by now I'm kind of going without a plan. You know, this was not planned. It's kind of going while it's going. Not really going very well, I'd say, in my opinion. Not looking the bestest I could, but I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to take the at same kind of thing foundation we had with that same brush we had and we're gonna cut it like shoop. see that cut right there cut it nice and straight and I take a booty blender and booty blend it up <laughs> I like to kind of swoop it away because it takes a long 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 time <laughs> to really get off concealer in my opinion so I don't like doing that jeez oh, I almost had it in my eye that was problematic so I kind of just like swooping it away and then swoopity swoop you know then we will actually be blending it this was just so we can have a bit of a less you know kind of look you know, <laughs> that I didn't explain that very well. A less dirty look. We're basically just cleaning it up. Making it look pretty. You know? Which is why the cleaning part right now doesn't matter as much. But when you're normally cutting it, you should probably make it very clean pretty looking then again we're gonna go in with that same yellow and really just 
get it on there. <laughs> as well as under and in the corners. And there you go. Next, we're gonna go in with this little eyeliner brush and then this black lipstick. You can tell I use it a lot, <laughs> obviously. And we're going to line our look, starting where the yellow stopped. kind of see we're just gonna go around our eyes I'm sorry if the movie that my brother is playing is loud it really just got loud all of a sudden and it's super loud and what the heck I think it's because this window is open and I'm very upset about that not living for that uh oh I messed up my eyeliner just kidding I fixed it okay cool alright and we're gonna do a swoopity swoop as I like to say. What is he watching that is so loud? I think it's Sausage Party. Sounds like it. Yeah, I think it is. <sighs> Not very happy that it's so fucking loud. <gasps> oh my god, it just cuts the shit. I'm. I hope no one watches this. Video. <laughs> hope no one watches this video because, or at least sees up to this point because, I just said a no no word. Oh my god! Can you believe that? I, I can't actually. That just kind of slipped out on me. I was like, oh my god, Jasmine, did you just say that? Yes, I did. Like, what the heck, Jasmine? You're supposed to be kid friendly. Apparently not. Next, we're gonna go in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I don't know how, but it looks like I got orange on my yellow look. I'm not living for that. So we're gonna kind of go right back on top of that. Fix that. Like I said, not living for that. We're gonna go in with that mascara. And, yeah. I just messed it up, so. Love that for me. So much fun. Yeah. It doesn't look better. You know, this look didn't look good from the start, in my opinion. But we're not gonna shade myself because you know what? I'm trying. And that's all that matters. You know, I'm trying to make this look work. Even if it's not working. We're still, oopsies, trying. Okay, um, I highly doubt I'm gonna get the same eyeliner look, but we're gonna try. Like, I don't know how people get such flawless, amazing eyeliner every single time. Like, what type of sorcery is needed to do that? Because I literally don't know. And I'd like to know. You know? <laughs> I don't think they're the same. They don't look the same. Based on the outline. Not really living for that. I mean, I guess I could use like a stencil or... Ow. Something like that. But that's... Extra? Based on this video, I think it's going to be titled a get ready with me because I don't seem to be teaching you guys anything. <laughs> that 
definitely not the same, but oh well. At this point, it's like, mm, don't care. So, not living for that. I don't want to mess it up because it's like every single time I have eyeliner, I mess it up. I ruin it. So, not living for that. <laughs> We're going to take this brush right here it's a small precise brush and we're going to take that same white HD powder and I know I already put mascara but we're just going to put the mascara again because I do not 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 need this eyeliner ruining my look because that's all it ever does and I'm sick and tired of it and I'm not living for it. So we're just gonna have to do it again. I don't care. <sighs> Somehow that orange appeared again. Y'all see that? Don't know where that's coming from. Once again, not living for it, but you know, there's so many things you can do in life and this is not one of them. I don't know. Don't know where it's coming from. It looks like blood. I'm not bleeding. So, am I dying? You're like, I don't know what's going on, man. Maybe the two colors are like colliding in a non-good way. I, I really don't know, but it is what it is. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna take another Fit Me foundation. This is in the shade 228 Golden Caramel, and it is matte and poreless, not soft and dewy. It's gonna be for our face. And before we do that, we're gonna put primer. I forgot, I'm sorry. Also, I'm sorry I keep itching my face. My face itches really bad for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't have a lot of primer left, so I should probably buy some more primer. But there's a lot more important things I should buy before I get that, like setting spray. So I can have that as well as the powder because the powder isn't always the best thing. But yeah, I also need that. So we're going to take that and we're going to put it on the back of my booty blender. And like I said, we're just going to booty blend it up, guys. I start to start off with a light amount. Dab, 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 dab. In those four areas. And I like to just kind of... Go everywhere and just go bonkers with it. And then we can really go into depth with blending and whatnot. Oh, my nose itches, so whoops. And then I like to show. And I also like sure to bring it down because even though this is like my color. It's still, you know, good to just really swoop it down just in case, you know, sometimes the foundations, they will change. If you need to know that, like, over time of baking or whatever, just staying there, being alive, you know, it changes color and it's really annoying, but it happens, so it happens to the best of us. Then you're going to take that other color we had, which was the ivory one, in the shade 115. Oh, that was a lot, so we're going to take off some. And we're going to go in under my eyes. Oops, not that low. I don't know what I was thinking, girl. I mean, not that high. I don't... I really don't know what I'm thinking, to be honest. I never know what I'm thinking. Oh, fun question. Did you guys vote because... I keep getting notifications on Instagram. You should vote. You should vote. Well, I'm sorry, but I am 15 and I can't vote. <laughs> There's not much I can do about it. You know, I can't vote. It's just the deal, you know. You know, if you want to let 15 years old vote, then it'll let them vote. Otherwise, leave me the heck alone. Like, literally. Alrighty, looking as snazzy as a bazzy. Don't know what the, a bazzy is, but it's a bazzy, apparently. We're gonna take that perfect HD powder, pop, 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 powder, and we're just gonna take that, you know, in all the areas that didn't get the, you know, 
I guess you could say the, uh, what's it called? Concealer, oh my god. And we're gonna more, put more there in those areas. And then in the areas that I did get a lot of concealer, they're gonna get less because they're already white as is, but we still want to make sure that they're dry and that they're not oily. So, overall, I don't, oops. I don't know how I feel about this look. It is okay, it is fine, but it's not my favorite, so yeah. We're gonna put some um, color on my lips real quick, just so we can get it back to its normal color. <laughs> And now we're gonna top it off with a bit of that. Just a bit. And we're gonna top it off with this Katy Perry lipstick. Really like this lipstick, really like the color. Definitely, definitely recommend it. And then we're going to be putting a little, little, little bit more of lipstick. I mean lip gloss. Just in the middle. Like so. Looking poppy poppy. Poppy. Then we're going to take our highlighting brush and our highlighter, which is also by e.l.f. It's in the shade Siren. Siren's Call. Really like this color. Really pretty. I typically use this for like kind of like a blush and this one for my actual highlight because the one that I use for a blush isn't that pigmented compared to this one. So it's a lot better to use in my opinion. I did not do that good. I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, we're gonna demonstrate what I'm talking about. You can see like the pigment's not really there. You know, where is it, sis? Like, like I said, it's pretty hard to see, so. Yeah. I have a hair on my lipstick. Don't know where that went. I do not know how to use a highlighting brush. Like, this is, I literally don't know. <laughs> um, I don't have any eyelashes. Um... We're gonna kind of. Mm. Well, I think it might be the colliding of the concealer and the yellow pigment that's actually making that orange color, to be honest. Anyways, I don't have any eyelashes. If I had any eyelashes, I would put eyelashes on. If you want to send me eyelashes, I mean, you know, that would be great. I mean, I have eyelashes, but I don't have eyelash glue, so can't really put on eyelashes without the glue, because the glue I got was already dried when I got it, so, you know, oh, got a knot, ew, so yeah, love that for me, so yeah, you just want to make the Jojo Siwa super high receding ponytail, that will really make it a cute look, girl. Make it as tight as possible, like, tighter than tight. And then you really want to just kind of play around with your edges, and then you're all done, sis. Snatched, whatever. Yeah, this is the whole look. Um, let me sit up, because you can only see, like, a part of my face, and... Oh. 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 Oh! <laughs> just kidding. Um... That was me talking for no reason and uh, doing my makeup for no reason. It doesn't look that good. But, 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 the photos I'm going to be taking will make it look good, you know. Um, I still have a hair in my mouth. I think I just got it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I don't know. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'm very sorry. And I post a lot of videos, or I have been recently, so... You know, oh, jeez. So, yeah. 
I'll have more videos probably to come. I'll be doing more after this, so just look forward to those if you didn't like this one. But please subscribe to be a part of the family. Give the video a thumbs up. Love you all so much, and bye!